I was asked the other day how many pencil bags I have. Oh, I missed one. <laughs> and I said, I don't know. And then I was asked how many of them actually have stuff in them. And I said, well, I don't know. So I thought it might be quite fun and uh, maybe a little not embarrassing because I love them all. Uh, let's just stick with fun. I thought it'd be fun to show you how many pencil bags I have and how many have stuff in them. So this one, I'm not sure if a Dolphonics pouch actually counts as a pencil bag, but uh, currently it's kind of housing my go-to stuff and it sits at the side of my desk and I just grab, you know, the stuff that I need from it. So that's, you know, that's one. This one is an empty one. Uh, uh, so yeah, that's sweet. We'll put the empty ones to one side and and go back to them. This is a very very recent one, so that's why it's empty. And sadly, when I open the package, <laughs> I'll show you what that is. When I open the package, I nicked it on the side, so I'm really quite miffed about that. But I mean, how cute is this thing with its gigantic zipper? I don't, and it stores a lot. I don't know how long it's going to last. It doesn't feel terribly terribly well made but I thought the zipper was really cute that comes from Aliexpress so yeah so that's an empty one this one I don't think is empty okay mostly empty <laughs> it has oh that's what it's got in it it has a calligraphy a calligraphy pen in it because at one stage I figured I was going to try that but cute huh Cute. yeah so so that's not empty let's put that to the non-empty pile what have I got in here I should know <laughs> oh these are extra paint pens oh these are actually pretty not sure why they aren't out on display with my other paint pens but okay so that is full of paint pens this one oh, okay let's do this <laughs> I have <laughs> I have an automatic I buy I buy the biggest uh, load of stuff sometimes because I get all excited about it. I have an electric sharpener and, and I have a, <laughs> it's an eraser, but it, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> don't use it very often. But yeah, so this is full of all sorts of pens. I have loads and loads of pens. This actually sits on my desk and a sharpener that's not electric. So yeah, so that sits on my desk as well. So where, oh, okay. And scares the bejesus out of me every time that thing goes zzz. Okay, so there's that one. Okay. <laughs> this one has... Oh, yeah, I bought these off Wish. And to be quite honest, they're total crap. So uh, I have not, not really delved into them because they're... They did not turn out to be what they were supposed to be. I mean, I know they're a brush pen, but uh, they didn't really work very well. So I should probably gift them to some kid who wants to start playing with them. Maybe even in the pencil bag, although I do like this pencil bag. It's got one of these so you can attach it to things. So that has stuff in it. This one, very pretty Jane Davenport one. This has stuff in it. Oh, more paint pens. <laughs> I think... <laughs> Yeah, these are paint pens that don't work very well. They are in the Poscas or extras. So these, I bought these, but honestly, they were a huge disappointment. It was, was they just, they just, they just don't work very well. Anyway, so, but yeah, so those are paint pens, and I'm wondering why I haven't consolidated them with these paint pens. There must be a reason. Maybe we should do that. Oh, stuff on the fly. Look at me go. And then I can use Jane for something else. So there we go. I now have another empty one. Okay. So these are nice. These actually come from Typo. And they have the other areas that you can use as well. So, right. So that one's full. Good. Uh, this one I bought in the Kruger. I think it's just so cute. If you think you're too small to make a difference, then you've never spent the night with a mosquito. And that is extremely true. And I think it probably is meant to be a cosmetic bag, but uh, we, we're going to call it an empty pencil bag. Ah, another typo. Another typo one. And this one has... 
Oh uh, yes, okay. No, fair enough. These are my art crowns. I do have other art crowns, you understand? So, but uh, well, these these are actually quite nice. I should uh, play with those more, but those can stay there. So that's that's the full one. This is another typo. You can tell where I go. <laughs> Don't you worry, your pretty little mind. People throw rocks at things that shine. <laughs> but weird. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, you know what these are? <laughs> this is going to show something. Now I'm really going to show myself. These are all pens. You know when you go to conferences and things, and they're always giving out pens? Well, I take them all. <laughs> okay, some of them are pretty pens that have been sent to me. But the majority of these pens... Pens and it just keeps on going. Are pens that I have <laughs> either bought, these ones are cute, um, or taken from conferences. And they're all, I think, black ink. They're, these are for my pencil. I do have the pilot pencils. So those are those. But yeah, oh, and this is actually, this is a genuine Swarovski beautiful pen. That was a gift. Not sure why I don't use that actually. But yeah, so there we go. Lots. There, see, there's one of my pilot pencils. But yeah, they're, they're they're mainly black ink pens, and they are kept in this lovely pencil case. And I know they're there. And if anybody ever needs a pen, they know exactly where to go to get it. Do I sound like I'm justifying things? One hundred percent. I love this pencil bag. I did I did used to have stuff in it, but now it seems to be empty, poor thing, so I'll have to put stuff in there. So that's going on the empty pile. Hey, look at this, we're going like a bowie. Um this I bought before I got the Dialphonics pouch. It's actually a smaller it's not the same, but it does have does have compartments and things, and it's actually quite cute to put in your bag. And it fits the small A6 Hobonichi very nicely. But um, I'm currently not using it. So there we go. The, this is, I bought at a shop in Neisner. I'm not going to read that quote. It's long. But it's beautifully made. It actually is a really, really lovely bag. And it has all my Tombos and my mild liners in there. And that stays on my desk because I do use those. So there we go. Oh, look at this. Getting through. This is just a cheapy plasticky one I got from somewhere. And this has, oh, I made these. Yeah, these are Crayola markers. You got the kit and you made them yourself. Had a whole heap of fun doing that. So those go in there. And that can go in that pile. This is again a typo one. You see I do, oh, these are my twin, twin tone Tombos. Cause they won't fit in there. So, so that's why they're in their own bag. I could actually, you know what I'm going to do, because I like this one so much, or, yeah, no, this one. Let's go with this one, shall we? This one's rainbow. These are pretty rainbow colors. Let's, let's do this. And there's room to grow. <laughs> Good. Okay. So there we go. That one is empty. Uh, I love this one. I got this in Michael's when I was in America in January of this year. I just... <laughs> It's just so cute, and this one keeps all my, these are all my permanent um, waterproof black pens. The other bag that's got the other pens, they're not, they're not waterproofed. So, oh, and some pencils and things that I have. So that's, that stays on my desk as well. This one is a, came with my Bento stationery box. It was a gift that she put in, which I thought was really, really sweet. And it's currently keeping all the stuff that I was using when I was collaging in my little, in my little passport size traveler's notes book. I would take it along with me and then just use, this is sadly finished, but it was super cute. Uh, yeah, so that was a go-to. I'll have to rethink what I'm going to do with that one, but uh, that does have stuff in it, so it goes in that well. This came from Rainbow Holic. I uh, subbed to her Patreon for a little while, and I think it's super cute, and it keeps all my little decorative tapes. So you see, most of my bags do have a purpose. And that stays on my desk. This one's another Jane one, and this one keeps all drawing pencils in various shades. I bought a pack when I was deciding I was going to start sketching. And yeah. <laughs> 
so that goes on the that goes on that pack and i think we're almost down to the last the last two look at that this this is so cute but it's empty because it really can't hold much i think it's more decorative than functional so that goes that side and this one again it's a typo one Oh. oh, this is my fountain pens. I was wondering what the heck. These are all my fountain pens when I decided I was going to get into into fountain pens. <laughs> yeah, there's a trend. There's a trend. I get excited about stuff and uh, go gung-ho about it for a while and then, and then, yeah, find something else to get excited about. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven empty ones that's not bad oh poor jane's thing is falling apart oh well fix that later seven empty ones how many full ones one two three four five <laughs> six seven shut up eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14. So, 28 in total. Not bad going. I have no idea whether you found this fun or not. I did. I found it fun making it. And yes, I do have a love for pencil bags and I dare say I will buy more. But as you can see, most of them do. Does do. Most of them has stuff in it and I'm going to remove the battery from that thing. <laughs> have a fantastic day and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe and if you really didn't like it please don't thumbs me down <laughs> not that I mind but yeah just don't watch okay have a wonderful day and we will chat again soon bye bye